Hello there, YouTubers! Here is an old project that I did back in around 2007, probably. This is a power amplifier, and this is another one of my uh, projects that I did back then. And uh, they all worked, but they all didn't work very well. Uh, this one is having a massive problem with tons and tons and tons of mains hum, which may be due to these uh, unshielded cables that I used. I just wrapped the uh, ground wire around the other two wires and, uh, well, hope for the best. It didn't work. We have uh, this module. This came out of a... Um, out of a, a pair of uh, amplified computer speakers. As you can see, I've uh, written on there power amplifier module. Fancy kind of handwriting. Oh dear. Anyway, um, this, is, uh, this is a very, very interesting setup. We're going to take a look at that once I get it out of here. Speaker outputs are right there, these uh, things, as you can see. And RCA input jacks, of course. We have a huge, great big toroidal power supply, which is uh, probably a bit of an overkill for uh, these TDA2030A uh, chips that are on this uh, board. And do have, of course, a power switch up front, as well as a, uh, a power light. This is not an LED, this is a light that um, is actually uh, fed directly with mains power. So there it is. As you can see, it comes in a nice wooden case that uh, has been assembled in a uh, very quite interesting way. We uh, turn this around. You can see that's looking a bit funny. But uh, well. I'm now going to take this thing apart because I just don't have any more space for this thing. And uh, basically it's just been standing around ever since I built it. So there is no point in keeping this. Here we have that power amplifier module taken out of the unit. And I really have to say, this is some quality work. As you can see, we have this uh, piece of wood that mounts the whole assembly, which is both screwed and glued onto the heat sinks, so that's not coming off. Here we have that uh, circuit out of the amplified computer speakers. It does use a pair of TDA2030 uh, amplifier chips, the non-A versions. Now back then I didn't really know much of anything about this all, and the um, only thing I knew was that the uh, conductive back of these chips was somehow connected to the circuit. So. I was kind of afraid to blow it up if I was just going to connect both of these chips to one big heatsink. So what I did, I took this old processor heatsink and cut it in half. So we have uh, the, the two halves, one half for each chip. And uh, didn't have any, uh, any kind of uh, advanced tools. And uh, so these are just some very long wood screws that um, or going all the way through and screw into this right here. That's the whole point of this piece of wood right there. It's not just decoration, it actually does serve a purpose. Um, I had an addition to these uh, crappy capacitors, Capxon, they're probably not that great. Um, I also had these capacitors hooked up in parallel. These are some old Elna capacitors. They are probably not that great either, which I guess explains why this thing has been humming so much. Just no sufficient power supply filtering. There we have that thing. I guess I'm going to keep this. <laughs> That's just uh, some funny work. Here we have the back of the housing and as it turns out, this thing is quite a bit newer than I thought. You can see, 2009. So, I already had my YouTube channel whenever I made it. I just never made any videos of this. And, um... I think I started working on this quite a bit earlier than that. It had just been sitting around for a long time, and I finally got around to finishing this in 2009. 
This uh, right here, originally this would have been connected to the safety ground, which was kind of a funny idea to do. And um, of course in the end I used a uh, just a plain non-safety ground power cord. It does have some strain relief as well as a lot of hot glue on it. And there it is. Right there. And there we have the housing all taken apart. And uh, looking at this uh, module once again, as I already said, this is using the TDA2030 without the A. But on the circuit board it does say FA2030A. Well, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, there you have it. Another old amplifier project. Thanks for watching.